Hello, Divine. How are you guys doing? I hope your spirits find you well. My name is KB, and thank you for joining me on this transformational journey. So, family, give this video a thumbs up, please, because I am very, very focused on trying to get the individuals that are looking for this journey on their spiritual awakening to come aboard and join me, you know? So, um, please give this video a thumbs up because you, how can you rate somebody's, uh, transformational journey? You know, it's like, how could you be mad at somebody's transformational journey? <laughs> so this is not like something, it's just, it's just my thing. It's just my journey. So, um, don't be judgmental. It's what I have to do to get me where I need to go. Now, this is what we're doing today. This is what I'm doing today. I am going to do this sit, this uh, stretching challenge, right? So it's 21 days of stretching. Now, I will tell you that if you are or were like me, and you are like me, where I used to be, which was in a very uh, dark place, I was going through a spiritual awakening, and I'm still going through my spiritual awakening. And even if you're not in it, going through a spiritual awakening, if you're in lack or needing to receive something, you're not happy with your life, this journey of mind, body, soul connection is going to get you what you need. And this is why I, I would be trying to tell, you know, the individuals that are, are suffering out there because my heart goes out to them, that it's a process to get what you want. It's a, you were put in this situation for a reason, and that is to renew yourself, to heal yourself, rebirth yourself, so you can get to your mission. And the mission that you're going to be set to do is going to help the world transition. Other people out there, the sleepy ones, they need assistance because they are programmed to be slaves. And they need assistance. So anyway, so I just wanted to let you guys know that those that are going through their spiritual awakenings and those that are, you know, suffering from something, depression, anything like that, this stretch challenge could be for you. No, it is for you. It is for you. It's for everybody. Everybody and anybody. It's like, like, listen, the benefits of stretching, right? The benefits of stretching, if you're a spiritualist, the benefits of stretching is opening up the channels, opening up the, the um, energy channels. Our body, everything is energy. And our body is made up of pure energy. So a body cannot prosper. You cannot prosper. You cannot gain prosperity, whether that be money, a man, um, coming out of your spiritual awakening, going through and understanding what your spiritual awakening is all about. You can't prosper in a stagnant body. Energy has to flow through you easy. And if the body is not in motion, if the body is not limber, you are not going to do that. You're going to be in lack often. Some people are able to prosper without uh, doing this, but they don't prosper much. They have a very hard time getting what they need. So. What stretches does, what stretching does is it's a stress reliever. It clears the energy centers. Like I said before, blood circulation helps with blood circulation, helps with your mood instantly. So if you are in a dark place right now, you know that stretching is going to change your mood drastically, drastically, instantly. It makes you feel really good if you get in a routine or a habit. And that's why 21 days is important because 21 days, you can formulate a habit in 21 days, right? So um, it assists the body in getting rid of dis-ease. If you are on a routine or regimen where you're trying to clear a dis-ease, cancer, AIDS, anything, moving the body helps aid in that because it's circulating the blood. Stronger connection with the creator, a stronger connection with almighty source, all right? So we cannot afford to do this. And I put down the individuals that need to do this. You already know the people who are suffering from anything and everything, the people that are in lack, the people that are depressed, anxiety, abuse, disease, neglect. Everybody needs to stretch. Everybody can benefit from stretching. 
but as a spiritualist what I plan on doing because my stretching is not very well I plan on uh, I plan on uh, going to yoga, you know, getting into yoga, but I can't stretch. I have issues with stretching. Stretching is not my, it's not my thing. I hate it. And I'm about to, like, it's a good thing I don't get embarrassed easily because I'm about to make you guys laugh today, okay? You're about to laugh and it's okay that you're laughing on my account. It's quite all right. I'm okay with it. I've done my, I've done my due diligence in assisting myself in that way so I don't get embarrassed easily so we're gonna do this what I'm gonna do is this is going to be my assessment so I'm gonna do all of my stretches on this channel on this right here so I can see the initial assessment of me trying to stretch and then in 21 days I'll do another assessment to see how far I've come so ah, here we go laugh all you want to okay just be be nice be nice. So the first stretch, the first couple of stretches that I'm going to do is going to be on the floor. And I, I really hope you guys get into this. I really hope you do. It's a process in where you want to be. It's a process in getting out of your or understanding your spiritual awakening or understanding your rut. It's a process. Your body is a temple and it needs to be utilized as such. Not the church. The body is the temple. You have to take care of this vessel. If you don't, you're going to stay in a rut. You're going to always be in lack, right? And we don't want that, okay? So here's, here's let me do this. Okay, so when I was doing, I, I played basketball. I played basketball in high school and college. And <laughs> my coach used to always say, he was like, Jackie, what is wrong with you? Everybody would be stretching, you know, with their legs open and all the way, they, everybody would be able to touch their toes. This is how I would be stretching. When I when I would get to that position, this is exactly how I stretch. Because my hamstrings was just too tight. While everybody was reaching their toes, this is what I was doing. And he was like, Jackie, what are you doing? I was like, this is all I could do. <laughs> anyway, so this is this is pretty much it. This is it. This is as far as I go. Let me turn this way so I can just make sure. Alright. So my back is pretty much erect and this is it. That's all I can do, all right? So, <laughs> pretty sad. Pretty sad. So, let's see. All right. The next one is this one. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. But look at how this is bent. I can't bend it anymore. And, and I'm starting to shake. And you know, when the muscle is extremely tight, you pull it and you start to shake. Stop. Because you'll end up messing something up. But this is as far as I can go with that leg. Oh, God. This is as far as I can go with this leg. And notice, I, I'm, you know, I need help. Anyway, let's go to the next stretch. So this is the butterfly stretch. And um, I have to hold my, my wrist here because I cannot, if I let go, I'm going down. So... I um, have to hold it here. This is not a comfortable stretch for me. My hamstrings are very, very tight. The next stretch. What is the next stretch on the floor? Let's see. Yeah. So here's the next stretch. I should have stayed in the other position. But um, it's a little bit of ways from my chest. Typically, this knee is supposed to come right here, you know, but it, it's, it's not. And then, like, this leg is supposed to be, this is it. That's it. Both legs, same way. Okay? Let's see. I don't think you're going to be able to catch, I can't catch this one, though. But that knee, my knee is not touching the ground, and it's supposed to. So knee doesn't touch the ground. Let's see what other stretches are there on the ground. I think that's about it. So now we can go to the, oh, you know what? Let's look at this. So sitting in this style, this hurts my, what are these called? I forgot. My sides. Oh, yeah, it hurts. And it, this is not comfortable. I'm, I'm leaning forward so I don't fall back. Not comfortable. What else? Okay, so let's do arms. 
the arm. How am I gonna do that? This way. Nope. This way. It's hard to see, but the arm, this part, does not touch this part. There's a huge opening. So here I am. See? I don't know how to get that on camera, but it's just that range of motion is all I have. And here's another range of motion. That's all I have. Yeah. Oh, that hurts, but that's as far as I can go. Then this one. Now, I'm not going to pull. I won't pull, but that's not pulling. And then I will pull. And then this is pulling. So not pulling and pulling slightly, right? All right. What else on the floor? What else on the ground? You look. Okay, that one. Okay. So I'm going to go down and then I'm going to come up. And I could, this is about it. Yeah. That's about it. Next. I think that's about it on the floor. I think that's all I'm going to do on the floor. And then let's see. Let me adjust this. Is this good? Wait. I think that's good. Okay. So here I am. This is it. Ooh, that hurt. And then I'm gonna try and lift this leg. Don't laugh. No, you you laugh if you want to. Okay. Oh god. That's it. This knee won't straighten out. That's all. That's all I got. Okay. Oh my god. It's I'm shaking like a leaf, y'all. That's it. Woo! Okay. This way. Okay. With my legs spread apart, I can do that. Ooh. Yeah, I'm about right here. That hurt really bad. I shouldn't have did that. Okay. And then close leg. Same as I turn this way. Same thing. Okay. Whew. Hamstring stretch. This hurts. All right. And I can't go, like, pull it back. Like, people be pulling it back like that. I can't do that. Yeah, this hurts. All right, let me see. What else? Is that going to? No, I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. All right. <sighs> Did y'all yeah, have fun laughing at me? It's okay. When you see me in 21 days... I'm going to be like a, I was going to say a loose stripper, but that is not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm going to be a limber ballerina. That's what it is. Not, I doubt if I get that far, but um, I used to do ballet too. And we had to take our legs and we had to do this to bring it all the way up like that. I couldn't do it. I could not do it. Yeah, we had to bring them up like this. I'm just, I was never a limber person. Anyway, I hope you guys joined this video. This is just my journey. So you just, I hope you are moving. I hope you decide to do something about your journey. You know, I hope you decide to change. I hope you decide to move. I hope you don't stay in depression. I hope you don't stay in lack. Even if you're not going through a spiritual awakening, I hope you don't stay in lack. I hope you start doing things to aid the body, aid the temple, and allowing you to manifest things in your life, okay? All right. You guys, thank you so much for joining me. Have a good day.